Hey, everybody, it's Victor. It's time for another right here, the Binding of Isaac Victor Repent series. Happy Tuesday, Mosh Pit. We got another video crossing 3,000 likes already on our way to the first Rebirth Reaction video like streak goal. I'm glad a lot of people have been digging that. I know it's a little bit different from like other like streak goals, but that was the whole point of it, just to kind of switch it up a little bit, you know? And I think that that's always a good thing to do every now and then. Here's your meme of the day brought to you by Brackwin. Title of the thread was Cage Match from episode 788. Now, Brackwin actually reposted this, and I wasn't sure why. I'm not sure if they made, like, a mistake on the first one, uh, but I, this is the newest one. So you can go check it out on the Invicta subreddit. And yes, indeed, my bony had absolutely no prayer against Cage in a Cage match. Thank you very much to Brackwin and everyone who upvoted that one. Here we go. On for no, ooh, on for a, oh, God, our tears rate, though. CJ's going to be Yankee, Romeo, Yankee, Foxtrot. Tango Zulu, Whiskey Zulu. You can tell by like my reaction, the part of the screen that I look at first. And obviously that was the right portion of the screen because if I had seen the left portion of the screen, I would have not had a Homer Simpson-esque, ooh. So yeah, apparently like people have been telling me I do a good Homer and I didn't even realize that I did a good Homer. So, I mean, I guess like me and Dan Castaneda have kind of the same like froggish delivery with Homer. I don't know. Okay, double soul heart and a crawl space in our first uh, tinted rock here. And I will absolutely take the book of sin over the ice cream scooper. Um, yeah, apparently I do a, a do a pretty good, a pretty good Homer. And I didn't even realize that. So we have the lead pencil, which is a very good starting item when it's combined with a good tears rate, which we do not have. Um, and that is because obviously every 15 shots that we fire, we're going to do a monstro's lung shot, which is great. But if you don't have a very good tears rate, then, well, it becomes, let's just say, inconsistent. Um, so, you know, 1.89 tears is about as bad as it can get without actually having Monstro's Lung. In fact, I think it would be better if we had Monstro's Lung for a tears rate stat rather than not uh, at this point. We also also have not great damage and bad movement speed and bad shot speed, too. 0.9, well, I mean, 0.93 is not the worst, but, man, we let's just say that there's a lot of... There's a, there's a lot of room for improvement on this run. Our battery wouldn't be horrible on the Book of Sin. Uh, wild card would also be kind of neat, but I don't think, unless if we can get a bomb out of this out of the Book of Sin, we are not going to be able to even have a prayer car battery. So it was only a matter of time before that would happen because we don't have the tears rate to make things go away. About the nicest thing I can say here. Um, and speaking of going away, uh, I, I don't remember at this point if I updated people on Little Sissy or not, like the actual Little Sissy, uh, but she has vanished. Um, she has, I have not seen her in many weeks now. Um, it's been at least two, so a couple weeks, not many weeks. Um, I'm going to wait for the Monstro's Lung shot here. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. 9, 10, 12, 13, 14. Okay. But yeah, uh, the little sissy that the little spider that I had here as a sort of pet is gone. She disappeared a while ago. And I don't remember. I know I talked to, I know I talked about her on the Twitch stream, but I wasn't sure if I talked about her in the YouTube uh, videos. So I didn't, I did not remove her. Um, she didn't join her boyfriends or anything. At least not that I know of anyway. Uh, I just, I woke up one day and she was just gone. I, I checked in on her and I got kind of like a, I got in kind of a routine of checking on in her, on, on her, in her corner, um, especially after she moved back from the office and uh, she just wasn't there anymore. And I looked all around for, I looked all around the, uh, you know, the bottom of the, uh, of the, the corners of the, of like the, the flooring and the, what is it called? The molding. And she's just straight up gone. So. I hope that she, my my guess is that she, I mean, she's always been pretty smart for a spider. Oh my God, like a match made in heaven right there. Uh, mysterious paper and we get a rotten heart, which we should really try to find a way to get the uh, car battery if possible. Actually, you know what we can do? We can get rid of this. We can get rid of this rotten heart and go for the, uh, go for the curse room because what will happen is we can drop a lover's card in here and then do that. So there we go. And I am still looking for a bomb. But, you know, Sissy, of course, 
Sissy has always been kind of a, a pretty resourceful spider, so my guess is that she probably got maybe scared off by all the vibrations from all like the Pokemon boxes and packs and stuff in the in the office, or maybe she just she really did just get tired of the noise and she just packed up and left. Um, because I've not seen her. I've, I, and trust me, I've checked every single corner of the house. I was looking for looking for maybe a chance of us getting a bomb. So suffice to say, the sissy arc is officially over. I think until maybe if I come, uh, she comes back, and I recognize her. I hope. Um, but I haven't seen really any spiders in the in the house since she's gone. So maybe. Maybe she informed the other spiders, like saying, hey, you need to be careful and stay away from this guy. You know, or he'll, he might forcibly remove you from the premises. A very humane sort of way. Um, but yeah, I didn't, I didn't kill her at all. I didn't, uh, didn't send her to the great beyond. She just, she was just gone one day and I was a little bit bummed, but it was only a matter of time, right? A little spider like that. I have no idea how long they live or anything. We get a little Gertie here in our second item room, and this is going to lead us to our question of the episode from last week's episode, which was the uh, Mutant Ninja Babies episode. And the the uh, uh, thread on that episode, 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 was uh, what is the strongest C-section synergy, in your opinion? And this one had a lot of replies, mainly because I was able to actually pin my comment, and it stuck for once. Uh, the most upvoted comment was from CH... Our CZH2432, who we've had on the uh, on the comments before, they said soy milk hands down, fill the screen with babies, and insanity ensues. Every other tier effect after soy milk just ups the entertainment value. I feel like, did we read these yesterday? Did I get the questions screwed up again? I feel like maybe I did. Because I feel like we've already read these questions. Now that, I, now that like, I'm reading these questions back again, I'm like, hmm. Did I, did I, get, did I get them screwed up again? Well, I'm going to read them once again. The second one was uh, with Lump of Coal and probably Mo Monsai Spirit Sword, some kind of multi. Okay, yeah, we, we read these yesterday. So I screwed up the I screwed up the questions again. We're, we're doing this live. Show you that there's zero editing in these videos. Uh, hang on. Let me let me clear this room and I will pull up the I'll, I'll pull up the questions that I didn't answer. This video, this the, I mean, like it's it's Tuesday, so I should be reading the uh, the video from the 29th yeah yeah that is the that is the newborn ninja babies one well did i read the spin down die maybe maybe that's the one that i forgot uh oh yeah it is it is i did it again i skipped one date ahead <sighs> all right so the real question <laughs> real question of the episode hey look we i eventually get to the right questions all right sometimes they might they might just get flip-flopped all right the real question of the episode, now that we got that one done, uh, was do you prefer angel deals or devil deals? And obviously this one was also kind of a big point of a discussion amongst the mosh pit. Uh, the most upvoted comment was from Skeeton56 who said, I prefer angel deals, but usually either can't wait or don't feel like putting out the effort to wait uh, for one. And they obviously they are talking about actually like waiting for an angel deal versus like just taking the devil deal and just be ding being done with it. And I can definitely relate to that. Um, I'm going to go back and go check the shop real quick. Also allows me time to read the other questions. Um, it, yeah, I mean, yeah, like, that's really the only gripe that I have when it comes to angel deals is the fact that, like, you kind of, if you do decide to wait, right, for an angel deal, you're putting off the possibility of gaining a lot more power, not indefinitely, but at least for a floor or two. Right, especially if you have really bad RNG luck, like we usually do. Um, so I definitely get you on the point of uh, about the patience and everything. Uh, the second most up upvoted uh, comment was a very long one from Vampire Creature Two. It said Angel deals under a lot of circumstances. It benefits you to wait a couple more a couple more items before deciding, uh, since you can get some really nice synergies between the item rooms. Careful, the item room and Angel De Angel slash Devil deals. And I personally prefer the lack of HP cost. Uh, to uh, angel deals. That said, devil deals are still making markedly better items overall. So if you have the HP and are struggle busting it a bit, then take those for sure. And yeah, again, it comes down to the patience. Like they, they mentioned about the patience, talking about 
wanting to go for better synergies amongst the items that you get out of the item rooms and the boss rooms and stuff, but at the at what cost is really what it comes down to. Get the soul of Isaac here. I will take the movement speed because we just need anything right now, and we get a blank devil deal. All right. Oh, baby. Thank you, Stanley. To whom do we owe the pleasure to? Could use this in the shop, but I think it's better for a better angel. I guess we're going to use it in an angel deal if we, if we end up getting one. And all that going to the final uh, up, most upvoted question was from Frigo7059, who said, Devil deals because I'm not able to wait for an angel deal. And, I mean, that really summarizes a lot of the feeling when it comes to people's opinions um, on devil deals versus angel deals. I totally understand that. And we've seen, I, I mean, like, you don't have to be a rocket scientist to know what I prefer. I prefer devil deals. Um, the only times that we really go for angel deals are if we already have enough stats to facilitate like a really powerful start or or we don't we don't have enough HP to actually get a devil deal and we're forced to take an angel deal. That's the thing. But the priority, I mean, like the thing that's the contingent, the contingent variable in all of that is still, do we want a devil deal or can we not take a devil deal? And in that case, then we're forced to go for angel deals no matter what. So, of course, you can still all obviously check to see what's inside of the Devil Deal if you have enough HP or if you don't. And maybe you'll get, like, the pack or maybe you'll get Dead Cat. But you can't always depend on that, especially when you know for a fact that, like, you just need to get some kind of endgame items early on. Like, you know, even even if having to wait till floor, you know, floor five for an Angel Deal. Like, sometimes it just, it just happens. It just, goes, it just doesn't go your way. Flatstone, I'm not down with Flatstone. I don't think that Flatstone is super great. Um, it can have some decent synergies, but for the most part, we're looking at lowering our shot speed by a lot, right? And our range is also not great. So we could get a little bit of range out of Flatstone, but it's to me is just not it's not good enough. Um, I would want some kind of some kind of bouncing static effect to go along with it in order for it to uh, really pay off. We get Sackhead here, or we get Deep Pockets. I'm going to start with Deep Pockets, and maybe we get Sackhead. Deep Pockets, of course, is not Keeper Sack, although it would be nice if it had some kind of properties like that. Um, and it's basically going to almost guarantee that we drop at least a little bit of money after every room, and it also allows us to hold triple-digit money uh, values now. Instead of just going up to 99 cents, we can go now go up to $9.99. Right there, that is the result of us not having the damage to kill on that first volley. So, really need to hope for a good devil deal here. Um, of course, we have the soul of Isaac, so a reroll is definitely still on the table for us. There we go. There we go. That's the good stuff. Love to use the stars card. So, yeah, let's hope that we get an angel deal on this floor. Um, or a devil deal. I mean, either one. Like we just we just need something to we just need something to take, Stan. We we can't take these these blank devil deals. Kind of hoping that was gonna hit over here, but I know the secret room's not up there. I'm just bombing the keeper. We're going all out for this uh, for this angel deal slash devil deal. Thirty six point two percent chance. Now, if you want to talk about. Can't even use that because we need the soul of Isaac. You want to talk about um, efficiency and safety or min maxing? Theoretically, what we could do, we could lead off every single room with a monstrous lung shot with a lead pencil. Is that something you should do? If you really want to get that technical about it and min max, then sure. Like always starting with a blast of, of, of shotgun tears is always going to be worth it. But. Um, it's it's too tedious for me to do so, and it's to me it's not really worth it. And yeah, this this just shows you how pathetic our shot speed and our range is right now. Seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen. Okay. Oh boy, really, really need a damage up, super bad, super mega bad. 
When little Gertie is doing more damage than our tears, you know we're in trouble. Trying to keep tabs on my shots the best I can, but obviously it's a lot easier said than done. Get an HP upgrade. All right, Soul of Isaac, I can no longer hold on to you anymore. Because we have a Stars card, and we also now have a um, Sun card. We're going to use the Soul of Isaac in the item room, and we get Dead Bird. The original D Bizzle. All right. Well, now we can go into the curse room to maybe get... I'm going to be real mad if we get teleported in here. Going to use the chariot card just so we can kind of wiggle our way through there. Okay. So I think what we're going to do is we're going to go with the sun card for obvious mapping. And uh, that way we can get kind of a head start on the next floor. But uh, oof. this is this is a struggle bus, y'all. There's the darkness. At least we can get rid of that. A little bit of sun card and skirt. The sun. Ace of diamonds. That's more money. Ace. So it runs like this where you got to really dig deep. You got to find out where your strengths lie. What kind of advantages do we have? What kind of disadvantages are we at? And plan accordingly. Because we're on floor four, y'all. And um, our damage is uh, lower than our tears rate. Yeah, that's just going to happen. Eventually, you're going to take damage. No matter how good you are at the game, eventually, the longer you are in a room, a room with bad damage or bad DPS, you're going to take damage. Eventually, it is going to happen. It is an inevitability. I mean, we actually have to take Ghost Baby here just because the Soul of Eden reroll is not worth it on a Devil Deal, just because it it basically like removes the the loot table that you're in. So it wouldn't give you another couple of like angel deal or devil deal items. It just gives you random items. I don't want to use these the high priestess card in anyone but whoever we fight at the boss because obviously we're going to need it. And we now have a 67 point. 6% chance. Get ourselves a devil deal or angel deal. And make that to a 73.4% chance. Here we go. Here we are ready to rock. Take all those all the blank rooms you want to give me, game. I saw a double kill by Little Gertie. Little Gertie was actually on point. Uh, there was a meme of the day not that long ago, or not meme of the day actually. Someone just someone just time stamped the last time we had Little Gertie. She actually made like a triple kill in like a womb room. It was pretty impressive, and I failed to mention it. And they got upset that I didn't give Little Gertie her triple kill. So there you go. You're getting your you're getting your comeuppance now. Your 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 balance is now at zero, Gertie. All right, I paid my dues. Oh, cane could be interesting here. Uh, I don't think it would be there. It'd be it'd be to the right of here, if anything. No, oh, it can't be there. Looking for the ultra seeker room here. Can't be there either. Okay. Interesting. Um, be south of here, but we need to go check this room. 
two possible places it could be that we're not seeing. It could be south of here. Uh, and we know that there's going to be a door there, or it could be in the elbow of there. So it opened two red doors and also two possible locations for the Ultra Seeker room, or it could be to the left, upper left of there. I'm going to go for the two for one special here and let's just see. This was the least likely of the two. Yeah, so this is the most likely of the two. And they're both wrong. Well, at least you tried, Book of Sin. At least you're stepping up, you know? At least you're trying to make a big time play, and I appreciate that. Because we have we've got a lot of other items that are not making big time plays right now. In fact, the game is not making a big time play. I have a feeling that it was probably to the south of the room with the pill in it. That's just my hunch. That goes Gary Jr. And of course, we don't get a Devil Deal or Angel Deal, and we have now waited five floors to get our very first Devil Deal. Uh, yuck. So, I guess check the curse room, because... At this point, why not? Yeah. This is, this is one of those runs that is um, how you say uh, this is uh, not a very good. This run is uh, is crap. This run is how you say uh, doing the crappy. Nice little double tap there by double by, by uh, little Gertie. Look at that little Gertie just knocking him down. We need DPS. When we got a little Gertie. We don't need we don't need damage damage numbers chart topping DPS when we have the prowess of little Gertie. She's on patrol. She's she's ready to strike. All right, here we go. This is Struggle Bus Tuesdays. And yes, I would absolutely murder a large number of things to get a reroll at this point. There's ever been a time to manifest Genesis. Now is the time. Piece of diamonds is fine with me. Great. Yeah, we're really having to dig deep here to try to try to discover our way. Sort of, sort of limp our way through. We get another soul of Isaac, which, sure, I guess so we'll take it. Thank God we get a damage up here from Consolation Prize, and the bomb that we got was a troll bomb from Consolation Prize. So, all right, we're we are now at barely above base Isaac damage. We made it, team. High five! High five! Little Gertie. See you contributing as always. Most appreciated. Thank you very much, girl. Cardio coin and uh, counterfeit penny. Really playing ball here, but that's okay. We're gonna wait on the soul of Isaac till we use the Ace of Diamonds to clear free room for us. I'm not gonna be using it here because old Dookie, old Dookie. Look at look at the look at the. The complete difference that a simple damage upgrade does for your runs. Oh, Gertie, this one's all you. Go game, little Gertie. Yes. You, you've missed every one of them, ma'am. How did you? How did you even accomplish that?
spades doubles our keys. Of spades. Uh, I mean, we we don't get great mileage out of the Ace of Diamonds there, but I don't feel like dealing with double Claudies. I actually much prefer to use it in here, but what can you do? I'm gonna use a bomb on this champion. On host. Jacob's Ladder. Jacob's Ladder obviously is going to be immensely helpful with us. Especially when it procs with uh, a lead pencil. See, now... Now is when we needed to get something like Flatstone. Shoop to whoop, which I will take. Get a tears up and a movement speed up. So we say thank you to the Book of Sin Victa. You were very, very helpful this endeavor, but we no longer require the need of your services. And with a hundred cents, we have a lot to buy. Start off with jumper cables. First judgment card. Okay. It's going to give us a reroll machine. A birthright and treasure map. Oh, man. We got to go juice the shadow here. Okay, so we got a treasure map. Now we need to turn into Black Judas. If there's a will, there's a way. If we could turn into Black Judas, we are absolutely positively saved. Now, the big question is, is this the type of run where you would want to save Judas' Shadow? I honestly didn't think the boss was up here. I thought that we were going towards a, uh, we were going towards a sacrifice room situation. Well, first things first, we need to go get a charge on uh, Shoop to Whoop. Secondly, we should try to see if there is a, um, if there is a sacrifice room over there. I mean, like, we've already missed boss rush. Like, we're not even gonna we're not even gonna qualify for hush by the time we're done with depths two, y'all. That's just that's just how it is. <laughs> that's why any any sort of like chance for us to get good damage, I'm taking it. Now, I do I will admit that the the claw machine in that room does have me tempted uh, to look at possibly getting an item pedestal reroll machine in there. Obviously, neither one of these is a sacrifice room door, so. So what we could do is we could theoretically play that for three item pedestals. But obviously, the bigger play here is to hope for an angel deal, get the reroll pedestal down after we get the key, and, you know, hopefully like a, like a quadruple angel a pedestal would be great. Bizzle out there. Let's recharge and shoot the whoop. We get a devil deal. Think great, but we can hopefully get a payout and turn into Black Judas in one fell swoop here. Giving up a lot of HP for this. Get the drink, it's nice. Okay. So we're going to re roll here. Brimstone and Empty Vesida. Uh, I want both of these, but I want to be... I also got Guppy's Eye, too. I want to become Black Judas. So the only way we do that is taking... 
there's no way to do actually no there's not we would still we would still have two soul hearts left empty vessel because it doesn't matter which one we take we're still going to we're still going to get the plus two soul hearts either way unless we take brimstone okay i know what we do we take brimstone uh we walk out of the devil deal we go back in and then take empty vessel okay and we don't care about experimental treatment now we still have the claw machine over here although it's it is also still only depths one so okay but we did get damage and we have tears thanks to the cancer trinket and i'm still not taking experimental treatment Judas's freaking shadow coming out in the clutch as always. Along with Brimstone and Jacob's Ladder. The God's Rune. So at the end of the day, it was Stanley who ended up saving our keisters. And actually, actually, you know what? I'm going to, I'm going to actually take that back. It wasn't Stanley that saved us. Out of all the things, it was a birth. It was a random birthright reroll in a shop that actually got us Juice of Shadow. Because without Juice of Shadow, I mean, we'd still be okay, obviously. Like we would have been able to take, um... Oh, yeah, that's right. We have Birthright. That's right. I was wondering how come we're getting so much damage. It's from uh, Birthright. Eden's Birthright turned into Judas' Birthright. Yeah. We would have been okay, obviously, with with without having Judas' Shadow. It would have just been a lot less damage. We would have still had Flying, and uh, we would have still had Brimstone. If you didn't know, by the way, if you didn't know what Dark Juice's uh, birthright does, it is a, essentially it's a free Book of Belial um, every time you use your space bar item. It works a little bit like the Book of Virtues, except it's, uh, it's the Book of Belial instead. Most of this, most of this floor would have been just a big old bummer too. Now we're cruising along. We're still not going to beat Mom before 30 minutes, but hey, you know what? We we made up for it. No place for us to use the Hagula's room. We can just take that down to the next floor. Ooh. Now we are enjoying the Book of Belial damage bonus here from Birthright. And Judas, I'm going to take the negative for the bonus damage that we get out of it as well. May, I don't know about Victory Lab, but we'll see. Okay. Uh, it's probably going to be to the west, I'm guessing. Guppy's Eye, of course, if you didn't know what Guppy's Eye does, it will allow you to see inside of chests. And theoretically, anyway, theoretically, anyway, it shows you exactly what's going on inside of a chest and uh, what's inside of its contents and that sort of thing. Of course, I say that, but it doesn't always uh, tell the truth. Little haunt is a little bad. If you don't know why, it's because essentially it has a pathetically short aggro range. And also on top of that, it likes to fear things. And as we all know in Isaac, if you fear something, it's just going to make it things more unpredictable. And uh, unpredictable unpredictable patterns in Isaac is a dangerous thing. 
Oh, look at that shoot almost clearing this entire room. That's what I'm talking about. Yeah, we're absolutely smoking everything now. Has to be ex expected as uh, Dark Judas here. We could play this. I mean, we're not really looking for a trinket other than maybe the Sigil of Baphomet. I would take Curve Torn because it'll be a huge damage up. But also getting some a, a little bit of extra HP here and there for a Devil Deal wouldn't be too bad. Now have a 74% chance for a Devil Deal. Could get one on this floor, I hope. Otherwise, that would be a, like a kind of a record low amount of Devil Deals. Soul Hearts, you kind of clutch. And we've only taken uh, 20 items in this run. So Soul of Eden's not bad. We can use it for a random reroll if we end up getting an item. Kind of hoping for the uh, crystal ball, but... Oof, man, that damage is... Damage is smoking. And there's a black rune in here too. Black rune would be re-rolled by Eden's by Soul of Eden. Okay, it's still good. It's still good. It's still good. We got a damage and range or shot speed upgrade. It's very good for our brimstone. And <laughs> I mean, if there was ever a time for a tactical Arky, this is definitely the run. Or I don't know, man. I'm not I, an Omega run. We didn't get angel pieces on this one. No, I don't think an Omega run is going to be possible. You know what we could do? We could. Well, I don't know. It's a little bit risky because of our HP, but I think that we should be okay. We could, in theory, find a sacrifice room. We're not set up for a great Omega run. We would have to find a sacrifice room on this floor. We can't even be, we can't even like go say like oh well we can go at least check what's this what the shop in hush's what hush's shop is like it was a really delayed really delayed needle spawn there kind of upset about it get a damage upgrade which is good then 1.94 damage and 1.0 luck upgrade We gave up three HP to get the R key, so definitely paid our dues here. We can at least check to see what's inside of this devil deal. Ooh. Oh, Cain. Wow, lots of lots of runes. Guessing is me to the left of this next room. If I had to, if I had to guess, yeah, it's got to be here. Okay. Yeah. On equals power. Okay. So if you want to know how come I knew that it was there, um, basically if you looked at the map, you saw two rooms. You saw this room and the room that's diagonally upward to the left, uh, or I should say to the northwest, and. Uh, if that room can be gapped, if that gap can be bridged by a red 
room if there's one that exists there then that means that there is a very good possibility that the ultra secret room is going to be located off of that now it's not guaranteed it's not guaranteed but there's a very good chance so that's the reason why i've figured it was there and it ended up paying out with you know a fantastic item of money goes power we of course also have deep pockets Of course, the R key block, the R key doesn't matter unless if we get past Mega Stan. And even if we were to do a victory lap here, we would still need to get past that that block. The Maggie is not going to be the answer here. So in order to make this work, we got to go all the way and fight Lamb. Kill Lamb, do a victory lap, uh, get the angel statues, the keys from the angel statues, which can only be gotten through essentially sacrifice room, which means we need to get a lot more HP than what we got right now. And then go to the light side of things and go fight Isaac, Boss Rush, Blue Baby, Hush, in that, not in that order. And then, after that, have to get past the Mega Satan, the Mega Satan block. As in, when you kill him, the run sometimes ends. If we get past that, then that's the that's the next step here, bro. Are you kidding me with these keys? We're giving you nine keys, bro. This is a joke. And that's why we don't play key beggars, everybody. Speak of the devil, this curved horn. Curved horn is actually better for Dark Judas than Cancer is with Brimstone. So it's going to be an involved process here, but it is possible. Empty vessel blocked the uh, shot for us, by the way. All right, Stanley goes down, no problem. We still have the Alger's room, which we can use against the Lamb if we get in trouble. And Curse the Blinds. <laughs> Immediately you lose that Eternal Heart that we had. Lamb's going to be at the very top right. I can already tell. I can, I can already tell we're going the wrong direction. Okay, we should get a soul heart here from Famine. We do. It'd be nice to get a soul heart here from this blue fire, if possible. No, don't tell me. Oh, Syndicta, you got Guppy's eye. You should be able to see in the fire. Burp, 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 burp. That's not always true. Guppy's eye does not always tell you when there's a soul heart in the fire or not. That has been proven false. Well, I didn't think we were going to do a victory lap here, but now that we're here, it's a matter of do we have enough HP to make the angel statues possible? Coming in pretty late for the victory lap, I got to say. 
And use the Algis rune here. Alright, down goes Lamb. Could go fight Delirium now. But what would be the point of that? Fought Delirium now. We'd still have to fight Megastan no matter what. So yeah, there's no reason. No reason. Plus, I would much rather fight Delirium with the Polaroid than not. Nine Whiskey Bravo Mike, Quebec Tango Golf Delta. Okay, so objectives here. Objectives are to get another R key or wild card. We've got to get an angel statue. We have to we have to get the golden key from the angel statue. In order for us to do that, we need to have a lot of HP, which we do not have right now. Got a lot of damage, we don't have a lot of HP. Sissy! How you doing, little Sissy? Sissy shows up when you need her most. Restock. Love to get compass here. Apparently the soul of Isaac doesn't care about that. All right. Yeah, gotta take options. Nine volts. Eh. Little sissy, good to see you. She has truly blessed this run. Pick the automatic tears up and we'll head on down. So we've got to get a sacrifice room and curse the bond. Which is fine because we probably wouldn't take a W anyway, because we need to save this we need to save this HP for uh for the uh sack rooms anyway. And the only crappy thing about this is that we can't see if there's a school bag inside of the store or not. So we don't care about that. We get another shot speed and tears up. Fine. Care about the devil deal. As A, it's Curse of Blind, and B, aforementioned, we need all the HP right now for Sacrifice Room. Secrets. Shows us where the secret rooms are. We don't care about the secret rooms, though. We need a sacrifice room. Shop. There's backpack. Okay. School bag allows us to carry a second R key. Something similar. Uh, chaos wouldn't be a bad thing, either. I should be buying these soul hearts, actually. Yeah, we're, 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 filled up. We're, we're filled up on soul hearts, so... Probably should have taken the eraser, actually. Yeah, probably should have taken the eraser. That's okay, though. That's okay. I mean, the super secret room might have a statue in it. It's unlikely, but it's possible. The Degas rune, which is much better than the Magician card. Feels like Destiny. Okay. We've seen that before where random troll bombs would 
would just spawn and then like just give us magic mush. It's totally happened. Albino is Bundetto. Uh, this doesn't really matter, so I'm actually going to take the range and luck upgrade here just for the luck. Head on down. Still looking for the sack room. Compass would have been nice. Not only would it tell us the presence of the sack room, but it would also let us know if there was a uh, planetarium or not. But we can't get that one. Echo chamber is... Echo chamber is kind of eh, because we don't really have, like, a use for consumables. And if you get one teleport, then you're just kind of screwed. The wafer, which is fan freaking tastic. That's a perfect item for us to get before we spend a bunch of HP on a sacrifice room. Did you deep pockets doing work as well? Boy, howdy. Are we still looking for that sacrifice room? Okay, so I'm going to take the coupon just because. Uh, we get rid of uh, that, and I think we're just going to wait. So at least the coupon will allow us to take a devil deal, assuming that we have a full charge, which we don't right now. At least this also eliminates the probability of me accidentally using our key, which I have been known to do in the past. Doesn't happen often, but it does happen. I admit my flaws. I guess passion boy. Gives a little bit more damage. A little brimmy and yeah, not, uh, not what we're looking for. Now I'm not going to walk over this because I don't want to take perfection. I want to actually save my curved horn. The fact that we still have not found a sacrifice room yet leads me to believe that the game is listening to us because there's no other explanation. At this point, we should have absolutely found a sacrifice room. And the game just refuses because that's just what, what it does, you know? That's just Isaac's MO right there. Another black room from Rune Bag, and I appreciate that, Rune Bag. The range and movement speed up. Not exactly worthwhile for our unlimited range brimstone, but hey. Let's save the other two there just in case we need the HP. Or like, oh, I don't know, maybe a sacrifice room. sack room down here I'm gonna be be right right upset it is not wow that is that's actually unbelievable uh yeah take mom's box here for the double the double damage upgrade here we will take bread stew as well stopwatch and eh, we could take it or leave it we don't really need it mom's key hmm. I guess Each dizzle. Of course, after we use it, we get car battery. Deep pockets again, we don't really need. And there's Keeper's sack, of course, after we've already gotten rid of all of our money. Hoping that we get more here.
still we're still cruising along here. We get no never again. Let's get a regular old HP upgrades, so that's fun. Oh yeah, we can take no never again. No never again also stops with mom's with mom's box, I believe it stops you from getting uh from getting item level zero items, I wanna say. Need one more cent. Just, just one more cent. Have that bomb. Okay. Definitely gonna take Keeper Sack here. We don't actually want starter deck because we have uh we took PhD. Take Bogo Bombs, and then that'll be it for that. Yeah, I think I, I think I want No Never Again. Another Curse of Darkness. And we are still looking for a sacrifice room, if you can believe it. Red Stew still ticking away for us. It's a fool card. Oh, the Soul Cane. Oh, found the mom room. We might as well go fight. We already have a we have a uh, a moon card, so we got to do boss rush. We are quickly running out of options for the uh, for the angel angel deal statue. Money equals powers. Ipecac, which don't really want Ipecac. There's not really anything in here that can help us really. Ipecac is just a just a not good idea. I guess giant cell because we don't need. The thing is that we can't. We literally can't get any anything out of uh, the other trinkets. We don't. We don't need double money equals power. We don't want Ipecac. And Candy Heart doesn't do anything because we can't pick up Red Heart. So. Technically speaking, the soul of Cain could give us a sacrifice room if we're lucky. I'm gonna take the blessed penny here just because. Do not. This is one of the few times we don't want the filigree feather. Gotta stop picking up all this crap. I like Get lusty blood, which I will take. I'm gonna use the soul of Eden to reroll everything on the ground. Actually, no, we can't do that. We'd have to come back in here after we... Because if we did that, we would lose the moon card.
going on in here? Black candle. Say a welcome addition to this run. Remember, we have keeper sack, so we're still gaining damage and stuff. Still gaining stats every time we we buy something. Um, but unless this is a sacrifice room over here, man, and it's not. It's the item room. Wow. Yeah, you can't tell me that the game doesn't listen to exactly what you say at all times. You will not be able to convince me otherwise. Because that is pretty... It's it's almost unbelievable that we haven't gotten a sacrifice room yet when the game knows that we're looking for a sacrifice room. Like, I mean, it knows. Like, it, it straight up knows that we're looking for one. Can't be there. Won't be over there either. The left of here, I guess? Soul of Cain. Yeah. That will deal with free sin robes and bloody lust. Take some of that bloody lust. need a range upgrade but we can walk through here anyway blessed penny by the way is the one that's spawning all those uh all those half soul hearts so now the funny thing is we can still get into boss rush and roll with the soul of eden because we have plenty of time so i'm going to do that who knows what we might uncover in here a whole lot of nothing all right we got some keys for our, our guppy's tail and a luck upgrade. Okay. Look, y'all, I'm I'm trying to make this this Omega run work, but if the game doesn't want to, if the game does not want to cooperate, there's nothing I can do. Y'all see me, y'all see me trying. You know, you know your boy's trying. Frost, no, thank you. And yeah, the game is very clearly aware of what it's doing right now, which is not giving us. Exactly what we want to have fun. Guys, yeah, we already got black candle. We don't need you anymore. Okay, so we're looking for the sack room. And we found the boss room. Well, if we don't get a sacrifice room before Hush, I think I'm going to officially just call it there. So you're on notice, game. Either one of these are sacrifice rooms. Sigil Baphomet's good, but it's not... We don't really need Sigil Baphomet, actually. I'd rather have the ability to just get more soul hearts that we need. These do virtually nothing for us, so. Yeah. Go back and get that soul heart. All right. Still day number whatever of looking for a sacrifice room here. Can we find it? Can we find it? Do they exist in the game? Not in this corner. Oh. 
Here's up in shot speeds. Not going to be useful for brimstone, but if we didn't have brimstone, you know, then may maybe. Maybe. Big Mata. Big Mata out of nowhere. Undoubtedly, this is this is where the boss is going to be down here. No way there's going to be a free room. Wow. It's actually the vault. Another solo cane. Good lord. Well, the keeper's good. Some moolah and some damage, thanks to Money Eagle's power. Another solo cane. Man, oh man. Can't squander these opportunities. I, I already know it's over there. I, I can look at the map and tell. If it's not, I'll be really surprised. There's a sacrifice room, by the way. Wow, it's not there. I thought for sure it would be to the left of here. That That's like the most prime prime area for it. All right. We have to walk out and walk back in each time because we have the Polaroid, and I'm not sitting there waiting for it. Can we turn this into an Omega run after all? Speed up. Does Samus does not do anything? Sacred art! Art, matey! Oh, baby. Oh, mama. Unexpected, but welcomed. All right, so we've got the golden key now. We have also 87 damage. Thanks to uh, Lusty Blood. Okay, all right, all right, we got damage now. So now we got to go fight old Hushy. Uh, yeah, neither one of these do anything for us. <laughs> okay. Okay. All right. Uh, yeah. I mean, this is hurting our damage a little bit, but still. There we go. That's what Papa wanted. Okay. Um... I guess Mr. Me actually hold on a second. We could just end this here. Do we go for the double R key to guarantee the Omega run? If if we get past the Mega Satan block. Let's let's get to that bridge when we when we get there. Let's cross that bridge when we get there. Yeah, let's get to that bridge when we get there, everybody. We have a 50-50 shot. Assuming that we make it past the Mega Satan block, which is not guaranteed. If we make it past the Mega Satan block, I will use... I will find a way to put down the Arky and then use it. Although there is a possibility that we may not get an opportunity if we don't find another space bar item, which is unlikely to say the least. Or do we just do it now? Do we just rip the bandaid off now and just do it? Let's probably just do it. This will determine whether or not we, it, it won't even matter if we get the, if we get the mega Satan block done or not. And then we'll still fight Mega Satan, of course, just to see if we would have passed it, but. In an unlikely scenario, 
we might turn this garbage run at the start to an Omega run. Only the third Omega run in the channel's history, I believe. It 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 comes down to this right here. We're just we're just gonna do it. Fifty fifty. It hurts. Feels bad, man. So now the only way that I'll feel better is if we if we don't pass the Mega Satan block. Which I think we already know what's going to happen here. Because it doesn't matter. Even if we even if we play that other sacrifice room down there, it doesn't matter. We we still need to get past the Mega Satan block. You know, sometimes things just weren't meant to be. We struggled all this way here. We ended up, we ended up getting our, or the anime boss arc back from the brink of death. We've done through our, our Black Judas training montage, and now we're here. Here we are. Would it have mattered at all? That is a, is a cursed cursed Omega Penny here. I really, I should be using both of these just for the, just for the Book of Belial effect from uh, Black Juice's Earthright. Look how fast it recharges. Good Lord, man. So would it have mattered if we had not lost the 50-50 on the R key? We would have gotten the delirium portal. Uh, well, you know what? It was worth a shot. You know, go big or go home. Had it actually paid off, it would have been legendary. But what can you do? Thank you for watching, everyone. Hopefully you had fun today. I know I did. You know, it's always fun seeing those, those big gambles. Sometimes it pays off. Most of the time it doesn't. But... Either way, thank you for watching, everyone. Hope you had a great time here. Your question of the episode is, have you ever attempted an Omega run? And if you have, have you ever been successful? Post them in the comments down below. I'd love to hear your thoughts on that. Thank you for liking, commenting, subscribing. And as always, I will see you all next time. Until then, so long, everybody. Thanks for watching this video. I'd like to thank the patrons of mine like Dad of Two, Ulysses, Shay Dotan, and Lamp. If you'd like to have your name read at the end of an Isaac episode, check out my Patreon campaign, which you can find down below, or by going to patreon.com slash Invicta.